Pero dito sa Kababayan today, I'm very excited for our next guest. She is a prolific writer and uh, I love her dearly. We know each other because of all the people that we have worked with in the past. Ladies and gentlemen, Bibeth Ortesa is here on Kababayan today. Hello, magandang umaga sa iyo, G. Magandang hapon pala po. Ah, ay hapon, kasi ka nag-jet lag eh. Oo nga, galing pa alam, Pil Pilipinas. Hindi ko alam kung oras. <laughs> So, Bibet, you are here in town because of Hari ng Tondo. Yes, um, it's very exciting. It aired. Uh, it nag screened sa CGV Cinemas. Mm -hmm. And, uh, um, well, we're very honored that we were invited to take part in the, in the LA Asia Pacific Film Festival. So, nagpapasalamat kami. Uh, it's been 15 years since your husband, Carlitos, who directed Hari ng Tondo, made a film. Why? 15, no, no. Uh, why that long? Well, also because Carlitos decided to go into teaching mm -hmm. uh, for the longest period, not so much for the longest period, but since 2008, Carlitos was teaching in the New York University Tishk Asia School in Singapore. Right. Tishk Asia. For so, the Professor arts. Carlitos. So, oh, Professor Carlitos. Uh -oh. So, he taught there um, graduate film. So, ito lang bumalik siya for Hari and Tondo. And then, we're hoping that he gets to do more movies. So, yeah. So, tumigil lang sandali, but he had no intentions man, of, of really leaving. And um, so, and then lalo na ngayon, because we have our, our son has also decided to, to throw his um, hat into the ring, uh, si Rafa. Yes, I personally know Rafa. I met him uh, in the theater circuit in the Philippines. So talented. I watched him recently in Lakaj. Yes, yeah, in Lakaj. Show, show no, stealer siya, ha? At hindi lang in Lakaj. You, you were one of the judges in Celebrity Dance Battle, and Rafa was one of the semi-finalists. So. Siya yung manok ko doon. <laughs> <laughs> diba? But um, it's such a pleasure to see your family in show business, making some sort of resurgence. It's the new generation, diba? Also, uh, Chris Villonco mm -hmm. is is in teleseries now. So, it's this new generation saka, of the Reinas taking saka, over. Also, na release na yung uh, memoirs ni Hermida Sigyon Reina, no? my mother-in-law's book. So, uh, so yeah, we're, we're in for an exciting time. Um, balik na naman. But me, I've never really left. Of course, because, you've um, always been writing. Uh, I've always been writing. I, I do the, I direct and uh, write for Vic Soto, Vampire and Daddy Ko. Mm -hmm. And then I also write his film fest script. So I've never really left. And I'm also with the MTRCB in Manila. Mm -hmm. So you're very busy and you've never oh. stopped, diba? <laughs> No, no. Kasi, uh, principally, nung nagkaroon ako ng, when, when I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2004, and then, as they say nga, when you stare at death in the face, you realize you just, there's so much more that you want to do. So, you just don't want to sit in a corner and wait for uh, the Green Ripper to, to, to come in. So, laban, laban kung laban. So. Laban kung lama, laban, the Beth. Congratulations. Ten years. Ten years. You've survived cancer and you've taken this and really catapulted your writing, everything that you do. You live life with vigor. I see that because I follow you on Facebook. Because <laughs> we're Facebook friends. Yes. But really, you are one of the pillars in Philippine show business. Thank you. And I don't say that to a lot of people. You know, but coming here to the studio, mm. and we were reminiscing about about how young we all were when we were in Toronto, remember? 1997! Yes. Can you imagine, 1997, Rafa was just seven years old, and we were there in Toronto, us with two films that year, Ang Lalaki Sa Buhay Ni Celia, yes. and also uh, Ligaya, ang itawag mo sa akin, magkasabay yun in Toronto, oh, oh. and you with, uh, with Jo Marie. Yes, I was there in 1997 at the Toronto Film Festival. Tayo yung mga Pilipino doon, yes. representing Philippine yes. cinema. I was very fortunate to be a part of Peke Galiaga's uh, film, Delirio, mm -hmm. who apparently is uh, has a sold-out show. He, he, were you able to Yeah, I was there. Oh, si Peke, yung oh, oh. Grey Matters at napaganda. And then, uh, well, we got one of the works, so... 
been here in Amman. But um, I'm so I'm so glad to be here in Toronto. Now the weather is uh, in in, in, in Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. <laughs> the, the, the weather is nice. Um, masarap maglakad in the area where I'm staying and uh, parang Pilipinas na rin. Oo, maraming Pilipino dito, di ba? No, no, because dito, punta diba? ka sa grocery, ang kakausap siya, ang Pilipino. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Pumunta ka sa, sa movie theater, kakausap siya, Pilipino. Kumain ako kagabi sa isang Japanese restaurant. Pilipino oh, din? Oo, Pilipino din. Miss Bibet! Anong ginagawa niyo rito? At saka talagang uh, Tagalog ang salita. Talagang, so wow, parang you don't, you don't feel homesick anymore. Ikaw, do you still feel homesick when you're here? I am very fortunate that I get to talk to people like you and that cures my homesickness. Yeah, yeah. You know, Actually, but I, I miss it every day. But, uh, yun na nga, Bibet, itong dream ko, dream come true ko ito, di ba? I get to do what I love to do, talk to people that shape Philippine culture and society. Mm -hmm. You are a culture maker, Bibet. You create the stories that Filipinos relate to. But no, but ako, I don't really think of myself as someone who, who shapes the culture but like I really look at myself as someone who's been who's a product of my times you know when I first uh, got into admiring and liking sitcoms it wasn't even on on um, TV yet Radio, that's how old am I? I am. But, but I'm you've 61. Kept up, you've kept up with the times, Bibet, and we'll talk about that when we return. Kasi tingnan mo naman, pati yung sapatos niya, napaka-cool, mismatched. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back here on Kababayan Today. <laughs>